What's up Turbo Nation? Are you new to Black Ops 3? Are you getting destroyed in lobbies because you're a low level going against sweaty tryhards who are a much higher level than you? Well look no further, I got the class set up for you. It's turbo time. Alright guys, so let's just get right into it. Don't forget to drop a like if you found this video helpful. Check out my other videos if you missed them. Click the top right corner if you're on mobile or link in description. Anyways, here's a screenshot of the class setup. Feel free to pause the video and copy the setup because I'm going to be transitioning over to the gameplay and I'll be going over each attachment and perk and why I use them. Alright, welcome back. So everything you saw on the screen is for low levels, aka beginners and noobs. You'll be able to achieve all of these perks and attachments through levels 1 through 20. In my opinion, the absolute best gun you can use at low level is the KN44. It's an easy to use gun and definitely the best lower tier weapon you can use from the start. No need to level up for it, which is awesome. And I would still even use this even when I'm a higher rank because it's just a great weapon overall. And I want you guys to put on high caliber and quick draw. I use high caliber because it increases the headshot damage and I don't know about you guys But I get a lot of hit markers before using this attachment and once I put it on the enemies just die Incredibly faster when I aim at the head then I use quick draw because the movement in black ops 3 is a fast paced game And the quicker you're able to aim in compared to your enemy the more likely you'll win a gunfight Especially if you're a noob and you've never played call of duty before this attachment will help you aim in faster So I recommend that for perks in tier 1. I recommend six cents and flak jacket. Sixth Sense will help you with awareness when enemies are nearby. You'll see your minimap glow red showing you where the enemy is at in relation to you. And that's very helpful because it'll help you find enemies that you never knew or had a clue that were nearby, therefore leading to an easy kill for you. So that's not bad. And flak jacket is something I use because the grenades are pretty powerful in Black Ops 3. And especially during game objective modes, people like to chuck grenades and explosives and it can get annoying. And, it, and a great way to counter that is by using flak jacket it'll save you a lot of death so it's a really great perk so for perks in tier 2 I use hardwired and tracker hardwired is a great perk because it keeps you immune from counter UAV power core EMP grenades tactical and lethal equipment and from sixth sense and tracker which is really awesome I also use the perk tracker because it helps you spot where enemies may have been in the area recently and if you follow their footprints it'll lead you straight to the enemy and give you an easy kill and for the last and final perk 3 you can either choose tactical tactical mask or blast suppressor you can only pick one for your preference and my recommendation is using tactical mask for objective game modes to protect you from concussions flashbangs and shock charges and blast suppressor is great overall to keep you off the enemy minimap because when you thrust jump you'll send a ping and expose your location and I don't know about you guys but when you play against tryhards they will find you easily so it's up to you either perk works really good one way there or the other but you have to pick one only all right and that's about it guys this is the class setup that I use while I was a low rank level and it held me up pretty well so I hope you guys enjoyed don't forget to drop a like let's try to hit 100 likes I'd really appreciate it I've been grinding the black Ops 3 video non-stop and share my channel with your friends spread the word about me if you like my content stop being selfish and spread the love to your friends family your mom your grandma anybody man anything helps anyways hope you guys enjoy the video and uh, I'll be back